What are gears? Gears are wheels or cylinders with teeth that mesh with the teeth of other gears to transmit motion. Gears are used in everything from automobiles to small toys. Functions of gears. Transfer motion, change direction, increase or decrease speed, increase or decrease torque. Torque is turning or twisting force. Example, a long wrench gives you more torque and makes it easier to loosen a bolt or screw. Change plane to rotation. Drivers and followers. A driver is the gear which is being turned by a power source, motor or hand. A follower is turned by the driver. Spur gears. Transfer motion with a plane. A straight line. Most common gear. Spur gears are made in many different sizes and form a number of different materials. Spur gears are generally identified by the number of teeth they have. Spur gears. Gears are attached to axles which run through the center of the gear. Gears must be positioned just right so that, that they do not push on each other on each other but the teeth will still turn the other gear. Lego spur gears. Common sizes are 8, 16, 24, and 42. Correct spacing. Horizontal. 40 and 24 through 3 holes between axles. 40 and 8 between 2 holes axles. Vertical. 40 and 24 between 2 studs and 1 plate between studs holding 40 axles. Holding axles. 24 and 16 through 1 stud between studs holding axles. Gears can be placed in a number of other combinations diagonally but none other vertically or horizontally. Gear mesh. The teeth on gears mesh together so that one tooth on one gear pushes past one tooth on the second gear. One turn of the driver will turn the follower and around one time. Gearing down. Smaller gear is a driver. Larger gear is a follower. The driver, smaller gear, has to turn around multiple times to get the follower, l the larger gear, to turn around once. Gearing down gives you a slower speed because it takes multiple turns to, for the, of the driver to turn the follower once. Gearing down also gives you more torque. Gearing up. Larger gear is the driver. Smaller gear is the follower. The driver, the larger gear, has more teeth, so the follower, smaller gear, turns around multiple times for each full turn of the driver. Gearing up gives you higher speed because it takes only one turn of the driver to make the follower turn multiple times. Gearing up is like the like 21st gear on a 21st speed bike. You go faster, but more torque is necessary. Driver, 40 tooth, follower, 8 tooth. When the driver turns around one time, the follower turns around five times. Gear ratios. Each gear tooth on the driver turns one tooth on the follower. We want to be able to talk about the speed of gears in mathematical terms. Gear ratios tell us how many times faster or slower the follower is rotating with respect to the driver. Gear ratios are expressed in terms of the number of teeth on the follower over numbers of teeth of the driver. Gear ratio equals number of teeth times no number of teeth times the follower all over number of teeth on the driver. Gear ratios two of the same size gears. Forty teeth over forty teeth, which reduces to one over one, which is sometimes expressed as ratio one to one. No change in speed. Gearing. 40 teeth over 8 teeth, which reduces to 5 over 1, which can also be expressed as 5 to 1 ratio. The follower is 5 times slower than the driver. Driver has 40 teeth. The follower has 8 teeth. So it's 8 teeth over 40 teeth, which reduces to 1 fifth, which can also be expressed as ratio 1 to 5. The follower is 5 times faster than the driver. Ideal gears. When a gear is placed directly between two others, that that gear does not affect the gear ratio. 
The gear ratio is computed using the driver and the last gear in the, in the gear train. The ideal gear has no effect on a gear train to accept to change direction of rotation. Which gear is ideal? If a motor is attached to the axle with the green gear on it, which gear is the driving? Which is the following? Other gear, bevel gears, measure at 90 degree angle, rack and pinion, linear motion, double, ve double bevel gears, work as spurs and bevel gears, sizes 12, 20, and 36 feet, crown gear, transfer motion between planes at angles, bevel crown gear changes axis of rotation by 90 degrees. Crown gears can mesh with other crown gears and spur gears as well. Used in gumball machines, egg and egg beaters. Incline plane. One turn of the work gear moves by one two one two of any other gear. Spur gears cannot turn warm gear. Knob wheel. Not a true gear. Only works with another knob wheel. Can function as a gear transfer rotary motion. Compound gear can change the speed of your forward by changing the gear configuration. Use two gears on the axle which get a large ra larger gear ratio in your gear train. When a gear train similar to that the one at right is used, the ratios of meshing gears are multiplied to find the overall gear ratio. Compound gear ratio. The Lego gear train on the left side last slide had two sets of gears each had a ratio of 40 to 8 or 5 to 1 what is the ratio of the gear train answer is 40 over 8 times 40 over 8 that's equal 25 what is the overall gear ratio of this gear train if the 80 if the 8 tooth gear is the driver and the last 24 tooth gear of the, is the follower is the gear train geared up or down 8 to 40, then 24 to 40, then 24 to 24. Answer to the last question is 25 to 3. Ratio 25 to 3. This means that for every 25 times you turn your driver, the follower will turn 3 times. If, if your driver is larger, your follower will turn more. If your driver is smaller, your follower will turn fewer times. Remember the ideal gears. They can be ignored when computing gear ratio. So the big gears are connected to the smaller gears to help it turn faster. In this design, we have a spider with five gears on each side of the motor, connected to one motor. And the big gears are moving the same rotation and move the same way to help all legs move.